<laughs> Did you see the snow, Virginia? Come on, guys. Time to get up. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy, and this is day three of Vlogmas. All right, good morning, you guys. So today happens to be Sunday, which is my weighing day, and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I measure myself every single week. I've been measuring myself since day one, um, and I've done it. I've only missed, I think, one week, the entire 100 weeks that I have been doing the ketogenic way of eating. I apologize for the crappy sound quality because this room is very echoey, but it was the best place for me to do this. That's the way it is. Um, normally, I would just measure myself probably with just a bra on and nothing else. But obviously I can't do that for this video because that would be awkward. So first thing that you need, of course, is a measuring tape. Now I'm telling you guys something about this measuring tape. When I first started a ketogenic way of eating, I could not actually get this measuring tape to go around my hips. Um, it didn't, it wasn't long enough. In fact, I'm not sure of my actual hip measurements because when I would put it around, it would go to about like this, and I had to like guesstimate the inches across to figure out how much further it needed to go. So this is a 60 inch tape, and when I first started out, I estimated that I was a 69 inch hips. So if that tells you anything, Look at this. I can wear this like a belt now. Well, I could if it would stay tight, but <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I can put it around me and let it be a fashion accessory. It's just crazy to me how much difference that it has made. So um, I do the customary measurements. I do um, my, my bust, waist, and hips, of course. But I also do a few extra ones. I don't do too many crazy ones, but I, I do do some extra ones. So what I actually start with is my neck. You wouldn't think that you would lose a lot of weight from your neck. And even me, I didn't have, I didn't think I had a lot of weight to lose from my neck. But I actually have lost quite a few inches from my neck. And I have been measuring it from day one. So I, in order to measure my neck, I like to stand in front of the mirror. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. I'm in front of the mirror and you guys. Um, I usually stand in front of the mirror so that I can look in the mirror and see the number as I'm pulling it. That way I'm able to get it nice and tight and I can see where it's at. So I just pull it tight around my neck like that and write the number down. Okay, then the next measurement that I do is the above the bust line measurement. So in order to do that, I just kind of hold, I make sure that the big number's on the outside and that the one is in my right hand, just because that's the way I like to do it. I mean, if you're left-handed, you may want to do it the other way around. I shimmy it up my back, make sure that it's flat against my back and that it's not um, rolling, because that'll add an extra half inch. You don't want any extra half inch just because you didn't measure it correctly. Okay, and then I pull it across, I keep my arms kind of up, I pull it across, and I pull it tight. The reason that I choose to pull it tight, I know a lot of people measure just like where there's just barely a little bit of give. The reason I choose to pull it tight is because then I know I did it the same every time. So I pull it as tight as I can get it to go, and I write down that measurement, okay? So then the next one, of course, I do is my bust. Same thing, I shimmy it up my back, round the biggest part of my bust, pull it tight. I do pull it tight so that it goes in like that because I want to know I'm doing the same measurement as much, much as possible every single time so that I, am, I know I'm accurate. That may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way I choose to do it because that's, that's how I've done it from the beginning. The most important thing when you're measuring yourself is that you do it the same every time so that you have something to compare. So. This is just how I do it, you can do it how you want to do it. Then the next one I do is the rib cage, right below my bust. And the same thing, wrap it, pull it tight, and then I look in the mirror to see the number, okay? Then for my waist, so I'm wearing my, 
squeezy leggings here. These are my actually for my clogging costume. They're one size leggings. If I was not wearing my leggings, you see that I have quite the little jelly belly going on. But these are lovely, magical leggings. I think these are fantastic, and they were like, I don't know, eight bucks on Amazon. Anyway, so this bigger roll here is where I like to measure for my waist measurement. You can choose where you want it to be, but for me, I want, this was my most irritating part of my body when I was bigger. It still is the most irritating part of my body. I hate this roll right here. This roll is the reason I never looked pregnant when I was pregnant. It makes me cry because I always had a bee belly even when I was nine months along and no one ever knew I was pregnant because I looked like I was just fat. So anyway, I like to measure this roll as my waist. A lot of people measure their, their belly button as their waist or where their hips go in as their true waist. It doesn't matter. As long as you choose one that you want to measure each time and you can replicate it. So yeah, I do my waist as my biggest roll and I pull it tight. So it goes in as far as it'll go. And that's the measurement that I use. I use it, look in the mirror to see the number, look down, double check, that kind of thing. Um, then of course, hips, same thing. Find the biggest part of my hips, which when I started was about there. It's probably moved now that my behind is a little bit different now, shaped. And so I don't know if it's the biggest part that I'm doing, but I'm trying to do the same place I've been doing from the beginning. Okay, that's the most important part, is to get it as close as possible every time. Now, the trickiest one to measure, believe it or not, is your arms, because you kind of need like two people to do it. But I have figured out this really cool way to measure your arms, so I'm gonna show you how I do that, and you get to see my lovely arms in all their glory. This is my least favorite um, skin that I have, my extra skin on my arms. You can now see the definition in my muscle finally. Check that out, guys. I'm actually strong. And the fact that I have so much muscle has made me really confident that eating the higher protein keto has been the right choice for me. I mean, I am freaking strong, you guys. And I do not work out or exercise in any way like my arms. Ever. Okay, so we do these in the uh, clogging. Anyway, this is my arms trick. I don't know if it's like special to me or anything, but it works really great for me. So what I do is I hold my arm out, I decide where I'm gonna where I'm gonna measure my arm. So if you see this little like divot here, that's that's where I measure my arm. I so I remember where it is every time. It's not the biggest place of my arm, it's just the part that was easiest for me to remember, and that's what I chose to do. So I take the measuring tape and I make sure that it's on the big number side. I hold out my arm and I lay it up on top, okay, and hold it with this hand. So I've got the one, okay? Then I pull this one up, I line it up with that line, then I let go of this hand, grab the long piece of my right hand and the short piece with my left hand, and then I just squeeze them together. That way, the number stays on the top where I can see. But do you see how much skin I have that I am like squeezing in? I have, And I've been squeezing tight since the beginning, though when I first started, I didn't get, have so much give. Now it's just mostly skin, so it has a lot more give. Okay? Um, thighs, kind of same thing. I actually just put the, my foot up on the toilet. Find, I have this spot right here on my thigh that I like to measure that I, I just know where the spot is. You just need to find your own spot that will work for you, and then you measure, and then your pass. So, that is how I measure myself every week when I'm doing the weigh-in. So I come in, I film my weigh-in over here, measure myself right down the inches. Today, I am back down, all of my measurements are back down to the smallest they were, and my bust line is down another half inch. So I'm back to where I was on the biggest day of the month, my most bloated day. So as you'll see from the weigh-in, I am really high up there on the weight for where I was. My rings are stuck. I am waterlogged because that is the time of month that I am at. I don't know why it does that to me, but it just does. So I am now measuring small. So my smallest 
on my most bloated day, which means, guys, that I am smaller. So I'm looking forward to next week. This week isn't my favorite, and it kind of irritates me that now my picture week, because of the way weeks just kind of fall, and the fact that I didn't stay on a perfect, you know, 28-day cycle with my water weight gain, that I ended up have moving, I have moved from my picture day being my slimmest to my picture day being my heaviest of the month. So that's kind of irritating, but I am absolutely ecstatic that my measurements are small again today so that at least my photos will reflect last month's numbers because they didn't last month. So there you go. This is probably, besides the swimsuit, this is probably the least amount of clothes I'm ever going to show you guys. I highly doubt I'm going to be one of those girls who puts a bra and panties on and shows you all my loose skin. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see next summer if I get brave enough to do something like that. But I feel extremely self-conscious right now just wearing what I am wearing. So I want you guys to know I'm putting myself out there for you because I wanted to show you this because I bet this I have been asked how do I measure myself like so many times. I thought today is the day. Today is the day I gotta show these guys how I choose to measure. I've gotta get ready, I've still gotta go to church and I'll come back home and I'm gonna edit my wedding video for you guys and I will see you guys again in a little while. Santa's buried in snow, not Santa. Yeah. He's laying face forward into the snow. Oh, over in the neighbor's yard? Oh no! <gasps> Poor Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Let me help Santa to get up. Okay? Uh, <laughs> that let them do it, it's alright. No. Okay. Well, yeah, do we really want to go out in that today? Like, we don't really have much of a choice, I guess. But, whoa. Uh-oh. Better feed the kitties. Oh, Jasper, I told you not to touch the snow without gloves. I wasn't kidding. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Wipe him off on your jacket, quick. Wipe him off. Ruby, get in the car, hun. Everybody get in the car. It's a lot of snow. Winter Wonderland out here. Woo! Ruby, you are so funny. Is your seatbelt on? Good job. I bet. That's a lot of shoveling. Good job, girls. Warm up. What are they doing? He's not very good at it. <laughs> Oliver, your phone is adorable. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Come on, it, I know that the snow is cold. He wants to get back in the van. He doesn't want to be in the cold. She just fell and did the splits in the, on the sidewalk. <laughs> Pays to be a dancer. Come on, guys. Let's get in. Oh, my gosh. Is... No, no, no. Always watch where the huskies go and never eat the Oh, my gosh. Still snowing. Still snowing. It's what, six? Still snowing. Heading into Walmart to buy my mom a birthday present.
think we've had a little bit of snow today, huh? What do you guys think? Unreal. I mean, we usually get some snow, but this is a lot even for Utah. That's insane. That is insane.